Gary LaBarbera, President, Building and Construction Trades Council of Greater New York. Vincent Alvarez, President, New York City Central Labor Council, AFL-CIO. The Honorable James P. O'Neill, Police Commissioner of the City of New York. The Honorable Daniel A. Nigro, Fire Commissioner, City of New York. The Honorable Cyrus R. Vance, Jr., District Attorney of the New York County. The Honorable Letitia James, New York City Public Advocate. The Honorable Thomas P. DiNapoli, New York State Comptroller. Mario Cilento, President of the New York State AFL-CIO. The Honorable Scott Str The Honorable Scott M. Stringer, New York City Comptroller. Melissa Mark Viverito, Speaker of the New York City Council. The Honorable John J. Flanagan, Majority Leader, New York State Senate. The Honorable Charles E. Schumer, United States Senator from the State of New York. The Honorable David N. Dinkins, 106th Mayor of the City of New York. Katie Couric, Global Anchor, Yahoo News. The Honorable Rudolph W. Giuliani, 107th Mayor of the City of New York. Maria Bartiromo, Anchor and Global Markets Editor, Fox Business Network. James Tisch, Chief Executive Officer, Lowe's Corporation. Dr. Henry A. Kissinger, former Secretary of State, United States of America. Gail King, co-host of CBS This Morning. The Honorable Milton L. Williams, Senior, Former Associate Justice, New York State Supreme Court Appellate Division. Mortimer B. Zuckerman, U.S. News and World Report and publisher of the New York Daily News. Dr. Raymond Talaj, President, Corinthian Medical Chairman of Advocate Communities Providers. Chris Matthews, anchor of Hardball, MSNBC. Charlie Rose, anchor and executive editor of Charlie Rose and co-anchor of CBS This Morning. John Fierick, professor at Fordham University School of Law and a trustee of the Alfred E. Smith Memorial Foundation. Robert C. Wright, senior advisor, Lee Equity Partners and co-founder, Autism Speaks. Mary Mooney, Managing Director, Virtu Financial, LLC, and a trustee of the Alfred E. Smith Memorial Foundation. John McFarlane, Managing Member, Oracle. Maureen Sherry Klinsky, trustee of the Alfred E. Smith Memorial Foundation. John Sadinsky, Vice Chairman of Blackstone and founder of the Genesis Foundation. The Honorable Elizabeth Foley Bagley, James P. McGilvray, Chief Executive Officer, J.P. Mack, LLC, and Trustee of the Alfred E. Smith Memorial Foundation. Alfred F. Kelly, Jr., President and CEO of Intersection, and Chief Executive Officer, Designate of Visa. Raymond W. Kelly, Vice Chairman, K2 Intelligence, and Trustee of the Alfred E. Smith Memorial Foundation. Marianne Tai, Chief Executive Officer, New York Tri-State Region, CBRE. Roberto Mignone, Founder of Bridger Management, LLC. Nora O'Donnell, Co-Host of CBS This Morning. Eric J. Waldman, Managing Partner, High Mountain Capital, LLC, and a Trustee of the Alfred E. Smith Memorial Foundation. His Excellency, William F. Murphy, Bishop of Rockville Center. John A. Casamitidis, Chairman and Chief Executive Officer, Red Apple Group. 
Morosiro Mita, President and Chief Executive Officer of Castle Rum Holdings Corp. Lowell McAdam, Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of Verizon Communications. John McAvoy, Chairman and President and Chief Executive Officer, Consolidated Edison, Edison Inc. Lawrence A. Bassetti, former Chief Executive Officer, Allied Signal. Rob Spire, Chief Executive Officer of Tishman Spire. Brian T. Moynihan, Chief Executive Officer of Bank of America. <laughs> Kenneth G. Langone, Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of Invamed Associates, LLC. John K. Castle, Chairman and Chief Executive Officer, Castle Harlan Incorporated. The Honorable Michael Bloomberg, founder of Bloomberg LP, philanthropist and three-term mayor of New York City. <laughs> Gerald L. Hassel, Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of VNY Mellon. Bob Greifeld, Chief Executive Officer of NASDAQ. Howard P. Milstein, Chairman, Emigrant Savings Bank, and Chairman, New York State Thruway Authority, and Trustee of the Alfred E. Smith Memorial Foundation. Thomas J. Moran, Chairman, Mutual America Life Insurance. Thomas O'Malley, Chairman and CEO, Argus Investments, Inc. William E. Flaherty, Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of William Enterprises. Mary Higgins Clark, author. <laughs> Monsignor Thomas Modugno, trustee of the Alfred E. Smith Memorial Foundation. <laughs> Thomas M. Joyce, executive chairman of Arxis Capital and a, tr a trustee of the Alfred E. Smith Memorial Foundation. Thomas Anthony Moore, senior partner, Kramer, Dulloff, Livingstone, and Moore, and a trustee of the Alfred E. Smith Memorial Foundation. Peter Georgiopoulos, founder and chairman, General Maritime Corporation, and a trustee of the Alfred E. Smith Memorial Foundation. Mary Callahan Erdos, chief executive officer of J.P. Morgan Asset Management, and trustee of the Alfred E. Smith Memorial Foundation. Peter James Johnson, Jr., lawyer and president of Leahy & Johnson's Attorney at Law and a trustee of the Alfred E. Smith Memorial Foundation. The Honorable Bill de Blasio, 109th Mayor of the City of New York. The Honorable Andrew M. Cuomo, 56th Governor of the State of New York. Christopher C. Quick, trustee of the Alfred E. Smith Memorial Foundation. William C. Rudin, Chief Executive Officer and Vice Chairman, Rudin Management Company, and a trustee of the Alfred E. Smith Memorial Foundation. James F. Gill, Senior Counsel, Brian Cave LLP, and a trustee of the Alfred E. Smith Memorial Foundation. His Excellency Nicholas A. DiMarzio, Auxiliary Bishop of Brooklyn. I now have the honor of presenting Nan M. Smith, trustee of the Alfred E. Smith Memorial Foundation. Alfred E. Smith IV, principal, Alfred E. Smith Associates, trustee of the Alfred E. Smith Memorial Foundation, dinner chairman, and tonight's master of ceremonies. Melania Trump. It is my honor to welcome our speakers for this evening. The Honorable Hillary Rodham Clinton, 67th Secretary of the State, United States of America. Mr. Donald J. Trump, Chairman of the Trump Organization. And I am pleased to present our host for this evening, 
His Eminence, Timothy Michael Cardinal Dolan, Archbishop of New York. Now I turn the evening over to our Metro Ceremonies, Alfred E. Smith IV. Seated. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Al Smith IV. And I'd like to welcome you. It's my time. Sorry. To the 71st annual Al Smith dinner. In case you were worried, this isn't a microphone malfunction. I'm having a neckwear malfunction. I'll be fine and the show must go on. Normally, I would ask everyone to turn off their phones, but Secretary Clinton has told me that Donald is welcome to tweet away. <laughs> Apparently, when Donald tweets, it makes both of them happy. Before we proceed, I'd like to invite everyone that isn't a quarterback for the San Francisco 49ers to stand for our national anthem. <laughs> and remain standing for the invocation. The anthem will be performed by Metropolitan Opera Soprano. I turned down the job. And the invocation will be delivered by Bishop Nicholas DiMarzio. Nadine. Nadine, I can't sing. Don't get lost. I'm here. <laughs> oh, say, can you see? By the dawn's early light, what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glow the bombs bursting in gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled Thank you very much, Nadine. Bishop DiMarzio. Certainly, it's a pleasure to be with you on this 71st annual Al Smith dinner. I'm grateful to Cardinal Dolan for inviting me to do this invocation. As we know, this has been a hard-fought campaign season. 
Last night was an exciting debate. I think most of us, including Secretary Clinton and Mr. Trump, are praying for this election to come to be over soon. <laughs> so let us pray. <laughs> Lord, you have favored our great nation with the ability to correct our faults and strengthen our democracy. We ask your blessing upon us at this time so that our nation may come together in unity to elect the president who will be mindful of the laws inherent in our human nature. Life is your greatest gift to us. Teach us to respect life from its natural beginning to its natural end. Help us to reach out to the marginalized in our society and assist them in their needs. At this election season, which has accented the diverse opinions of your creatures, teach us, your beloved creatures, to love one another as you have loved us, so that our differences may be resolved through the help of your grace. Lord, we ask your blessings upon this meal, upon those who have prepared it for us, so that, and also this evening, that we may imitate your love and share our bounty with others. And we ask this in your holy name, amen. Please be seated. Thank you, Bishop. Tonight, we watched the two candidates do the most difficult thing they've been asked to do this whole campaign. I'm not talking about being funny. I'm talking about treating each other with civility. I have, I have no doubt that our guests tonight are up to the task. In fact, before the dinner started, Donald went up to Hillary and asked her how she was doing. And she replied, I'm fine. Now get out of the ladies' dressing room. <laughs> I knew that would work. They have just returned from their third debate. And I think they're both grateful for a format in which nobody can interrupt anybody else. As many of you know, this is an annual event held in honor of Governor Smith. Let's hear it for Governor Smith. This is the only real job I've ever had, so I'd like to thank him. Tonight, we continue our long tradition during presidential election years. The candidates put aside for one evening all politics, all acrimony. We come together to raise money for the worthiest of causes, the neediest children in our archdiocese. We're supposed to clap now. Everybody, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show tonight. We are all friends. How do you like those apples? As you know, Al Smith lost the election of 1928, but made history in American politics by becoming the first Catholic to run on a major ticket. At the time, he was somewhat controversial. He was against prohibition. Thank God he was, 